up YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel I wanted to share with you guys or I wanted to tell you guys about my hair growth journey for those of you who have been following me from the beginning um, you'll know that I started off with hair affinity and I was using biotin gold and at some point I would say I started in September October November January I stopped with the hair affinity I didn't renew it and continue taking it um, because I started taking dun, 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 hair, skin, and nail gummy vitamins. And these have biotin in it and vitamin C and E. I really, really like this. Oh my gosh, they are delicious. Oh, I don't know what to say about them. Like, the other day I was just asking my husband, can I just sit here and eat some? Because I would really just sit here and eat some. But they are delicious and I believe you, you take four a day. So... Usually when I wake up in the morning, I'll just pop four of these bad boys because they taste good. So, um, for those of you who don't know about that Nature's Bounty hair, skin, and nails, get on this hair, skin, and nails. These gummies are to die for. And right now, they are being sold at CVS as well as Walgreens, basically to drugstores, and they are um, buy one, get one free. I got them at not CVS because they're $9.99. I went to Walgreens and they're $7.99 with the buy one, get one free offer. So same exact deal just cheaper and I got to use my little Walgreens points um, I'm still taking my biotin gold I take two of these a day along with my hair skin and nail vitamins and as you can see I do not have my installs or my extensions in I took those out on May 17th I've had those out ever since then I've treated my hair I've deep conditioned it um, oil treatments let me see what did I use I have my own little mixture that my husband actually created for me for a hot oil treatment that I use on my scalp that is really really good and I will share that with you guys later um, thumbs up if you're interested in knowing about or hearing or seeing the hot oil treatment that I use on my own scalp I will show some pictures throughout this video of what my growth was previously um, with the hair affinity when I first started and I have video or I have pictures of that so I will be posting those and you can see the length and my hair or the growth in my hair I believe from my back in my back I went from six and a quarter to like seven and a half inch growth in the back back here and I had some parts up here that were broken off really bad and as you can see in the footage it was broken off in the back really bad right here and you know since then it's all grown in which is a very good thing and then as far as my edges go I have thinning on the edges and I, I've showed you guys some pictures and told you guys all about that I did a 30 day trial with Karenique Woo! and it was I I would honestly say that it made my edges grow um, as far as the minoxidil goes which is just Rogaine that liquid that I did made the edges grow, but as far as the shampoo and conditioner goes, I didn't like the texture or the way that it made my hair feel. Don't get me wrong, it didn't get rid of or knock out my curl pattern, but it just was kind of like dry and brittle. Not what I'm used to, because I'm an Eden Body Works kind of girl, so I'm used to having that soft texture when I'm done and those nice um, shiny curls even after I wash. So it was a little bit different for me with the Karenique, but I will not lie. I loved the Rogaine or the Minoxidil treatment because it really did help out my thinning on the edges. For those of you who have not seen, I posted pictures on Instagram from week one, two, and three. I think the only one I'm missing is like week four and you can see my progression of how the thinning was and then how it was no longer thinning. So um, that's what I did as far as growth on my edges go. Um, I also use Hicks edges or yeah Hicks edges edge control I love this I got it at my local beauty supply um, in this picture here you see that my extensions were red at the end I actually did that myself I used um, the BW2 Clairol professional and I used a door and I didn't use pink fire this one's pink fire I just picked this one up because the installs that I get I'm actually going to get them pink thumbs up if you love the color pink or you like the color pink I'm gonna get the ends pink on my whole install and my homegirl Susan is gonna hook that up for me but I still purchased this um, just in case 
then thing happens I want to touch it up myself and I put any kind of heat on my hair my hair or my extensions I use silk elements and I have this other one I think it's called icy and I also use icy but I always put some kind of heat protectant I just cannot do that without heat protectant <sighs> if you don't have oils or you don't have a special kind of oil or a hot oil treatment that you use for your hair you can always use EVOO I mean this is like my go-to for everything and once I have washed my hair with that or I put that in my hair or my insoles I always go back behind it and clean it up or clarify my hair with the Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar with the mother um, some people cannot stand the smell but I Trust me, I tell you, after you've used it, the smell starts to dissipate after a while, you'll get over it. I drink it, I clean my face with it, I clean my makeup brushes with it, and thumbs up if you want to see a video about that. And what else do I clean with it? I do a lot with this. Apple cider vinegar, it's a staple product here in my house, so yeah, this is really good. That is all as far as product wise that I use in my hair to clean it to um, for washing I'm currently out right now which reminds me thanks for doing this video I'm gonna have to go pick up some tomorrow but um, I use Eden Body Works um, what is that the co-wash and I also use the shampoo and conditioner and it's got like this minty tingling thing to it I really like it on my hair on my head I don't use it on my installs but I do use it on my natural hair and like I said I'm about to go get my installs so I just did my last wash for the week so I'm okay with that um, and then as far as my installs go I showed you guys I got suave and then I also purchased this shampoo and conditioner from the Dollar Tree that's supposed to be like a dupe to organics and I forgot the name of it but I was make sure I post that or show you guys a picture of that but I did purchase that and I might try that on my extensions when I do that I'll let you guys know but for right now I'm gonna be sticking with the swab on my extensions or um, not fruities not Garnier fruities what's I can't remember the other one that I use but yeah so that's everything that I use in regards to taming down this lion and doing my hair as you can see I do have new growth Right now, I just have it in this this ponytail, this updo, whatever you want to call it, because I had it pressed a few days ago, and I really just didn't. It got hot, pretty much, and it wasn't working. So I took it out, and I put my ponytail in. Um, I purchased my hair from She's So Wavy Hair Company .com. For those of you who have not checked her out, please check out Carmen Day, baby because I have so much hair from her. I colored these ones myself <laughs> and I love this red. This is that red I was telling you about. I went ahead and I bleached it back to the natural color or I don't even want to say bleached because I didn't use no bleach. What did I use? Oh my gosh, look at my hair. Oh well, it looks like a little puff ball. I forgot what I used, but I just used the natural brown and I think it might have been L'Oreal, but I just dyed it back to its natural color. This is my Shiso Wavy hair. I'm going to wash that. I'm going to clean this with the Suave and um, the apple cider vinegar. And as far as my red ink in installs go, I'm going to talk to Caitlin about making me a unit. I think it's called a unit. Is a unit another name for a wig? I don't know. Correct me, please. For those of you who know, let me know in the comments, please. But I want to take, because I have so much still left, just in general, I have a lot that different lengths and stuff because I like to do different things with my hair, but I'm going to see if maybe she can make me a unit. And if she can make me a unit out of this, I think that would be awesome. Right now, that is all I have to share with you guys. I just want to fill you in on my hair journey. Thumbs up if you like my channel. Thumbs up if you like this video. Thumbs up if you like any of the products that were mentioned in this video. Oh, and really thumbs up for the hair, skin, and nail gummies. Like, I really can't stress this. I love these. And I love this. So, just, they just, I don't know, I love them. So, yeah. Thumbs up for apple cider vinegar with the mother and the hair, skin, and nails. Um, like I said before, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching my channel. And for all you YouTube beauties out there, have a lovely, lovely day.
Bye.